just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in with another season of Ask Uncle Mafia. I got a ghoul. Hey, it's me, Uncle Mafia. I'm here to answer some more of your questions you sent to Uncle Mafia for Ask Uncle Mafia. This person said, Uncle Mafia, what was it like in prison? Well, you know, I got to be honest. It was uh, the worst experience of my life. You know, I, I really regretted uh, being involved in the organization I was involved in that led me to going to the prison, um, especially because of just how they, how they tortured us, you know. They, they made us watch all the Lords of the Rings, and then they made us watch the Hobbitses, and I don't know what was worse. There was three Hobbitses. There's one book. What are they making three Hobbits movies for? It, is, it doesn't make any sense. How did they expand that much of one novel into three two-and-a-half-hour movies? And I had to sit there and watch it. It was the worst experience of my life. The only good part about watching those Hobbit movies is that I got to learn uh, the weakness of the Smaug. Uh, that, that turned out to come in handy at some point. So, uh, you know, only watch the last one. That's really the only one you need to know. All right, the, the people want to know, Uncle Mafia, how do you deal with rats? Well, you know, let me tell you, you get you get some you know some cheese, and you put up a couple a couple mouse traps around them, and you know the rats will just find their way to the cheese, and you know you don't really have to do too much. You know, I, I in my line of work, I don't deal with rats too much, just because I don't really work in the restaurant business anymore. Back in the restaurant days, you know, we'd go in the kitchen, we'd find like four or five little big big old rats running around, and you know. Back in those days, we could get away with just spraying some uh, some some rat poison in the air in the kitchen, you know. That, but th that was back in the day. That was like 2019. Would, you can't do that anymore. You can't get away with that shit. You know, it's it's not it's not safe anymore. But back in those days, we could do we had no precautions. We could do whatever we want to get rid of these rats. You know, sometimes I would I would come in the kitchen with the butcher's knife, and I would just I would just fucking knock a rat, chop his fucking head off, and then uh, we'd use it to go make the, the meatballs, you know, the, the, the classic Uncle Mafia meatballs that I'm, I'm always been known for making. All right, well, that was, a, that was another question, another group of questions that uh, they asked for me, Uncle Mafia, to answer, and uh, I hope you enjoyed listening to the answers and uh, will watch more of my answers or watch my reality show, Uncle Mafia. Uncle Mafia support Palestine who <laughs> said that one. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a Riley question. No, it wasn't. Papa John? Yeah, that was Papa John.